Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mark from SBV Gaming, and today we're going to be playing a game called Haven and Hearth. It's not too popular of a game, but I really enjoyed it about a year ago, and I wanted to get back into it. So I thought I'd make a YouTube series, because there's not many videos on it, and maybe you guys can give it a try. But your guys' game is not going to look like mine when you first download it off the actual Haven and Hearth website. I've downloaded something called Ender's Client. And it just makes everything a whole lot easier to use, so I suggest you get that. I'll put a link in the description where to get that at. And so we're going to just start out playing the game. So we have to enter our name here. SBB Gaming. Okay, entered that. This guy, I forget what he does. Okay, I'm a guy now. And here's some clothes. So, we're going to equip all this stuff. Whoa. Okay, I already forgot how to control this game. Okay, we need to open up this inventory. That's right. You can shift click. There we go. So, this game is kind of difficult to play if you don't know what you're doing at all. Which, I probably don't remember anything. where to equip this stuff at. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got a torch. Put that in one of our hands. There we go. Okay, so... We're just gonna leave here. And go out into the main world on here. Great, it's night time. So in this game, you really should not ever try to fight anything until you're a high level. Like, you're gonna see here that... I'm going to take a branch off of this tree. <clears throat> and it says I've gained access to a wicker basket. And building fires. So what that noise was, was I unlocked some skill points. Here's the skill point sheet. Whatever you want to call it. And I have 10 strength, agility, intelligence, constitution, perception, charisma, dexterity, and psych. That's all 10 right now, but it will increase after I get... Like, good food made and stuff. Food is what you use to increase your base attributes. And on this side is your skills, essentially. So, right now, I got 50 learning points. I got them points from actually getting that branch off of that tree. So, you can spend these. But I can't even afford one of them yet. They cost 200 to upgrade at one time. So, I can't afford that right now. So... Right now, we're going to be worrying a lot, worrying about just learning the basics of the game, so it's pretty confusing at first, but hopefully I can show you guys how it's done and we can get into the game. So, right now, okay, I got seven sticks. Okay, we're, it takes time for everything. For some reason, the timer's over here. I have no idea why it's there, but it is. There we go, we got some stones. So we've gained access to the stone axe. We're gonna craft, go to tools, so we're gonna make the stone axe. Okay. That's getting created. Okay, now that we got a quality five stone axe, I'll explain to you guys what quality does later, but we'll put this in my right hand. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Put that over there. There we go. So we got that, and that gave us probably 50 more learning points. No, it gave us 100 that time. So just for right now, I'm not going to explain to you guys what this does, but I'm just going to do it anyway. I'll explain to you guys maybe later on about what this stuff is, but it's confusing. So yeah, let's get back to this. Um, Right now, we're just going to try to do everything we can to get as much learning points. So we're going to pick a cone off the tree, which we don't really need. We're just doing the points. That gave us 62 points. We'll take the bark off of the tree. And take the bow. Okay. So we're going to drop all this stuff because we don't really need it right now. Get rid of all this stuff. Because the sticks aren't... We're going to need sticks, but you can always get more. They're easy to get. We're actually going to look for somewhere good to build. 
Okay, we're by the river, but we're kind of too close because people travel the river on boats. And they'll come and kill us, so we're going to want to go a little bit below the river. Be nice to find somewhere where there's clay, too. Okay, so we're just going to keep walking this way until we find some. Okay, there's different types of trees, too, so we should be able to get some learning points off of this, too. It should be a different type of cone. And it's the same type of bark. Okay, I think that's all the extra points we're going to be able to get off that. But this there's this tree, too. Pick seeds. This should help us. Okay, we got a U seed. Okay, there we go. So basically, since we got this axe, we can start... Actually... Okay, I know what we have to do first. I didn't even explain to you guys an important part of this. Which is your skills right here. So... Basically, you need to have skills to do certain things. Uh, you can read through all these, and I'm not going to read them all right now. I already know what they do. But there's a lot of skills, and this isn't all the skills. After you, like, say I unlock the foraging skill, that might unlock three different new skills. So, yeah, that's that. So, we're, first thing we're going to get is foraging. We're going to need hunting. Um, no, we don't need that yet. Lumberjacking. Plant war, we're gonna need stone working. What else? That's for fighting, I think. Maybe not. We're gonna need we're definitely gonna need uh stone working and plant war. That costs two hundred though. That's expensive. We're gonna need cloth making. Carpentry. Or not. There we go. So now we should be able to actually get some stuff done. And that's not the only way you can get learning points, because after you picked up everything in the game, you're not going to be able to get learning points off any of that stuff anymore. So that's what this is for, the study tab. And what you can do is you can make, like, these, um, like, different objects, like statues and stuff. Like, you can find flowers on the ground, like spider webs, just random things, and it will you hover over top of it, and it should tell you how many LP it will create and how many hours. So say I put a dandelion in here, it's probably going to give me about 100 learning points. But it's going to take about maybe 5 hours, it's just a complete guess. But that's how it works. And there's stuff you can get that gives you 100,000 LP. And it just gets ridiculous, but it, that kind of stuff's really hard to get in the game. So, basically, we're just going to keep looking for land, it's enough talking. But there's a castle down here and we're not going to go near that because we don't want to get killed. I guess we can get... There's probably no one by it. Okay, that's what a farm looks like. I can't walk onto this because it's owned by somebody. So I'm not even going to attempt to go onto it. You can actually go down to Adventure and click Criminal Axe and turn it on. And I'd be allowed to walk on it, but then it would be considered trespassing. So... Someone would definitely kill me for that. So... We can chop down trees now. See, it says chop. The only thing that sucks is we need to get away from this castle before we build anything. Because staying next to this castle is not a good idea. I actually got really far in this game before I had every skill unlocked in the game. And I just got bored of it because it was got repetitive. But it just like so addicting. I just wanted to restart again. So that's what we're doing now. It takes forever to find, like, where you're going to plan on going and stuff. Just because you have to walk so far. I mean, a lot of walking in this series. Might not be the most exciting game to play, but I know there's a lot of people that like to play these kind of games, and there's not that many videos on it, so I figured I'd make some. Okay. We're gonna make a left down here with this water. Hopefully, we find a good place to start building. Okay, there's another house down there. I 
want to get near that. Okay, there is a fourth fire. What that green fire is, that's where you spawn. Like when I spawn, there was one near me. And if I die, that's where I'm going to spawn. I can make a new one though. And it will cancel out the old one. But building houses on this game takes a lot of work. And them castles take days of work. It's not something easy. You have to actually work to get stuff done in this game. I like to be near clay. Which, I don't we can't look for a clay in the water right now. So we're going to have to look for a clay biome. It's like an orange desert type thing. And they're nice too be by because you can just get as much clay as you need I need to find a rabbit too be kind of hard to find okay there's ants they're not gonna hurt me if I walk up to them but if you tr if I right click and hit raid on their thing they're gonna attack okay there's some Apple trees, it looks like. I don't know, it's not what give me an option to take the apples off of it. But here's a, uh, we can find chickens out in this field. Here's someone's place. I'm not gonna steal stuff off anybody. I wanna be a good guy in this game. Always was. It takes a long time in this game to do stuff, like, in my attributes, I had, like, my exploration up to 130, and just to show you guys how many points that takes, like, I'm not gonna sit here and keep clicking, but it gives up a lot. Like, I'm it just going to level 50 takes 127,000 points, then going to 100 is gonna take a lot more than that. So it does take a long time to get stuff done in this game. There's going to be a lot of waiting. It looks pretty nice over there. They have like gold bricks on the ground. What's that? Oh, that's a um, thing to use and make bread with. I don't know what this is over here. Looks weird. Okay, it's a huge town. Well, that's a nice town too. Okay. I'm not gonna mess with that for sure. But there's gonna be a lot of walking, like I said. Just trust me, give this game a chance and you may like it. Okay, here's the biome I was talking about. This is the clay. So, yeah, we're going to try to build around here. Maybe up north of this will be a really good spot to start building. What's that up there? Okay, it's like a little peninsula. I like this. I think this is going to be a pretty good spot to start building. As long as that's not a building already made up there, I don't know what that is. On the map, that gray spot right there. Okay, it's just a little platform with a couple things on it. I guess we'll see if anybody lives here or not. Yeah, I bet this person hasn't been on it for so long. We can start doing some stuff here, I guess. There's a dead body there. That's never good. You can also change your walking and running speeds up top, but you don't want to get your stamina down really fast. So we're going to just stay on walk mode. What's this? A bunch of baskets here. That's cool. I wonder if there's anything in them. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in it. Let's see if we can get... Okay, here's something you can study, see? 
Tangled Bramble, quality 21, which is a higher quality than I could get. It gives me 1,790 LP, um, and the study time is 10 hours, so it takes 10 hours of real life time to get that amount of LP. So, we're going to go to study, and see how it says 0 out of 10 attention. That's what the weight means, so if I use this, it's going to take up 3 of that, and I can't hold any more than 10. So that's so you can't just keep filling this with stuff and getting tons of LP. And, yep, we'll just leave that in there and hopefully in the next episode we'll have some more LP we can spend. Apple cores, let's see. Okay, that didn't give us XP for that. More for that. More apple cores? Okay, what's this? It's not giving me LP for picking this stuff up. I thought it did. Guess I have to make all this stuff. Basically, it's so just like any other survival game. It, like, I don't even know what to compare it to, honestly. It's one-of-a-kind game. The closest thing I can think of is Worm Online. It's kind of like Life is Feudal and Worm Online. It's just like them type of games. Except it doesn't take like nearly as much time as Worm Online to get stuff done. And... Life is Feudal, it's way harder than Life is Feudal. I think we'll go over in this green spot right there, this light green area. It's like a field. So this looks like a good spot to start building. So let's remove this stump and get some experience for it. Stuff takes a while to do in the game, like I said. It's probably going to take a while. Guess we'll speed this up. Okay guys, we're back, we got the LP for that, and that took a really long time, that was probably like 30 to 45 seconds, somewhere in that range. But yeah, we got some LP for that, so we're going to drop these logs, and let's see what we can craft. So far we can make a stone axe and a wood fish. That isn't important right now. Um, curiosities, that's what they're called. That's the things that you study, like I can make this, these are pine cone and four sticks, but it's, that's not actually what it gives you, but it should give you a little bit of LP. Um, build, this is like houses and stuff, there's a lean-to, a spruce bow bed, and a torch post, and there's some fences, okay, and a drying frame. So I think the first thing we should start making some drawing frames, so we'll make one right there. Okay, we'll put a stick in it. So we're going to need to get six more sticks. Branches. Not sticks. Okay, that looks like enough. That was really easy to build. This is probably one of the easiest things there is to build on the game. Okay, so I think we can shift click. Yeah, we can. Okay, we got all seven sticks in there. Now we have to hit build. I don't know how long this is going to take. Okay, it's not taking. This is actually pretty fast. So we'll just wait for this. Okay, there we go. Drawing frame. What this is used for is... When you kill your first animal, you put the hide on here, and it will make a dried hide. And you have to make a tanning tub, which I doubt I can make that yet. But you make the tanning tub, and that will allow you to, you know, um, basically 
tan the hides and turn it into leather, which is really important in this game. But yeah, we didn't get much done for this series, but we did find what we're going to start building. There's some a lot of resources around here. There's clay, there's trees, there's rock, there's water. That's about the four most basic necessities you need in the game, so... Yep, that's it for this video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. And that probably won't be until another day because I want to get that 1700 LP off of this right here. So, we'll see you then, guys, and have a nice day.